Hi, this is Juwan Saad representing NetworkGuruSecrets.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to manage this leads. Earlier I made a video showing you how to purchase as many leads as you want for less than 25 cents each. So this video is a sequel to that one showing you how to manage those leads once you get them. At the end of this video I'll show you how to download a, a 22 page report which gives you more information on how to add at least three reps a day into your network marketing business. So let's go ahead and get started showing you how to manage your leads. Once you get your leads, everything is either going to be in comma delimited format or everything is going to autom um, already be into columns, but everything is going to be mixed up just like it is here. Um, now, one thing I want to point out is after you after we get done uh, adjusting the leads to the way you want it and you get ready to save the file, don't overwrite the original file because you might need it again. Just uh, save it in a different name and keep the original file separate from the edited file. So let's go ahead and get started. Now in this list, uh, I can already tell that the name, the phone number, and the email address, they're already separated into their own column. Everything is just front, uh, scrunched together. Now we actually don't need uh, need the name. Uh, we actually don't need the email address. We're just going to be dialing names and phone numbers. The email address is, is unnecessary. Uh, so let's go. So the first thing we're going to do is adjust the column width. So uh, everything I'll be showing you um, here works in all, in all versions of Excel, uh, 2007, uh, 2003, and 97. But in this video, I am working with Excel 2007. So the first thing you're going to do is click on each column and adjust the column width. So you go, what you do is click on so we're clicking on the name field here first. We're going to click on format. Then going to click on auto fit column width. And we're going to do that for the number as well. And even though we're going to be le deleting this email address, I'll just go ahead and do it just to make sure that you see it multiple times. Okay. So we automatically auto fit it the column width. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these email addresses. I don't need those. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to uh, separate the, the area code and the phone number into their own columns. So in order to do that, you just go ahead and click on the column and then we're going to go and in 2007, you're going to click on data and then we're going to go to text the column. Now if you were working, if, if the list that you had downloaded from a list broker was in a comma delimited format, this would be the same tool that you'd use to separate everything into their own columns. So you're going to use delimited and then you're going to click on next. So if you got a comma delimited file where everything was in its own what is in one column and everything was just separated by commas, you'll go ahead and just click on the comma button here and uncheck tabs and you go ahead and click on next, next, next and everything will magically be separated into its own columns. But since I don't have to worry about that, what I'm going to do is use other. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to choose the right parenthesis. Now as soon as you choose that, you can see a preview show down here that shows exactly what it's going to look at once you're done. And this is exactly what I want. So I'm going to click on next and then finish. And as you can see, the area code and phone number is now separated into its own column. So the next thing we're going to need to do is get rid of this other uh, parenthesis. Now you could either do this the tedious way and go to all 2,000 leads one by one and delete the column. But if you're like me and you're a little lazy, I'm going to show you the easy, the easy way. Just basically click on the column, go back to text the column, make sure that delimited is already checked. And then you're going to go ahead and delete the left parenthesis. Uh, the right parenthesis and put the left parenthesis in there. And as you can, oh, excuse me, I, I made a mistake. Let me go ahead and cancel out of this. I made a mistake. Before you do that, you're going to click on this uh, phone number column again, and you're going to right click and you're going to choose insert. And what that does is it puts an empty column between the area code and the phone number. So now we're going to go back to text the column. Oops clicked on the wrong column. There we go. Okay, so uh, I'm going to click on next again and I'm going to the, the parenthesis is, is in there, uh, the left parenthesis and that's exactly the effect that I want. So I'm going to click on next and then finish and there we go. So now the phone number, uh, the area code and phone number is separated in its own uh, column. So we're going to go ahead and, and that creates an empty column here that you don't need. So go ahead and right click that and choose delete and so everything is nice here now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a a a empty row 
above everything. So we're going to go ahead and click on the very top row, going to right click it and choose insert. Okay, so now there's an empty row at the top of everything. So we're going to go ahead and label these rows. I'm going to enable the top one as name and then area code. I'll just put a dash code and then phone number. You're going to also need to create a, a disposition column. So we'll just put DISP and then a date. Uh, excuse me, I made a mistake again. Uh, a, a zone column. Zone. Uh, that's going to be for time zone and the DISP for disposition. I'll talk about that in a minute. And then I also want to create a date column and I'll tell you why later. Okay, so um, the reason why we separate the area code and the phone number because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be sorting all of the names and phone numbers by the area code and then we're going to be coding uh, and then we're going to put we're going to label those all into their own time zone so that when you start dialing these leads you'll know exactly what time zone you're dialing into that so that you won't accidentally call someone at 10 o'clock at night or something like that so uh, what we're going to do is, is we're going to convert this entire uh, list into a table now this is one difference from uh, um, office 2007 and in 2003 and in earlier versions in 2007 they call it a table in the earlier versions they call it a list but it's the exact same thing. So in order to con uh, convert it into a table in 2007, you're going to click at the very top, uh, the very top left uh, row here, and then you're going to click on, uh, let's see, insert. And then as you can see here, is table. So go ahead and click on table. Now when you click on table, this looks identical to all other versions of Excel. It's going to show up box here that says. Uh, uh, my table has headers make sure that that is checked so just go ahead and click on uh, OK and so it magically converts the entire list into a table now what this this allows you to do uh, many things um, and, and one thing it allows you it, it allows you to sort it, it allows you to hide and a lot of other things the first the, the, the one thing that we just want to do at this point is to sort the area codes so in order to sort the area code just click on the down arrow you can either and then you can either sort from largest to smallest and from sort smallest to largest. I'm just going to go ahead and do from smallest to largest, but it's your choice. And so that doesn't just sort that one column. It, it sorts everything because you don't want things to get mixed up. So now the area, as you can see here, it starts at 201 and as you scroll down, it goes higher. So that's exactly what we want. And so the next thing that we, we're going to want and the reason why we want to sort this is because this is going to make it easier for you to sort everything into its own uh, time zone so uh, and so in order to and so what you can do you need to do is go to www.greatdata.com and they have a free PDF file for you to download that shows you the the uh, time zone for every area code in the uh, in the United States and then what you what you would do is you would just go through each of those uh, uh, each of those time zones uh, excuse me each each of those um, area codes and you would go ahead and put in the time zone and that would either be uh, you know that could be an e EST um, for Eastern MST for Mountain CST for Central PST for Pacific and then if you have other uh, times on Hawaii you can go ahead and code those as well so um, in the next and so we'll go ahead and continue uh, the rest of this information in the next video I'm going to go ahead and end this one now and we'll go ahead and code this for you and um, and it, uh, also in the meantime, go ahead and you can go ahead and download my, my 22 f uh, page free report, which will give you more information to adding three reps a day into your network marketing business. And you can get that by going to www.networkgurusecrets.com and just filling out the form at the, bo uh, the, the form at the bottom. I promise your information will not be sold to anyone. So thank you for watching my video. Good luck and God bless.